Today we are solving the problem on dump truck. Okay, and the question is this. Okay, and here there are six dump trucks and uh, the loading time and weighing time and travel time are given here. And uh, there is a condition given. Assume few of trucks are at the loader and uh, one is at scale at time zero and the stopping time is. Seventy-six minute. Okay. Uh, now we will move into the solution. Here, here we need this much columns. Okay. Now in the question, they are mentioned uh, there is a loading queue and there are two loaders. Okay. And uh, there is a scaling queue and there is a only one scale. Okay. And uh, in the question, they are mentioned. assume five of the trucks are at loader and one is at the scale at time zero so there are six trucks uh, totally and uh, they are given as uh, one is at scale uh, so written here at the scale and uh, others are at load there are two only two loader so we are writing only two trucks at loader and uh, other trucks at loading queue okay now initially okay so at the clock zero this was the condition okay so at the clock zero the loading queue is uh, containing how many trucks there are three three trucks so three here and here two trucks so two here there is uh, nothing here so zero and at a scale uh, there is one truck so one and uh, now here at loader queue uh, just write the truck with their name that is number that is dt4 dt5 that is dump truck 6 okay and uh, how many are in weighing queue no no one is in the weighing queue at the clock zero so nothing here then the future event list okay in the question they are given loading time waiting time and travel time okay for the first truck which is in the wait that is a dt1 so dt1 the weighing time is 12 so 12 here right 12 so put take mark on it okay uh, next for the dt2 that is uh, yeah that is in the loading queue so the loading time for dt2 is 10 next dt3 the loading time for uh, dt3 is 5 so 5 here 5 10 12 okay now Uh, the formula for uh, bl and bs is here that is bl is clock minus clock that is th this clock is for current and this clock is for previous value and uh, into l of t that is the value of this okay and this is also for the previous value and the previous of bl value okay then you will get the bl value here and for bs clock minus clock plus bs of previous okay this is for previous this is for previous and this is for current for bl and bs values for the first clock zero should be always considered as zero don't use the formula just keep zero for first value okay now consider the smallest value from these okay the phi is small here so Which means, which uh, dump truck is this? That is dump truck number three. So just move the dump truck three from load to weighing queue. Okay. Which one you are going to consider? You need to move the that truck only, not the other ones. Okay. Keep it in mind. You should not move other trucks. Just move that truck only which you are selected here. Okay. So this will be. 
I moved DT3 from loading to weighing Q for the now we are here okay so DT3 is here and uh, DT1 is still at scale and uh, here the one loader is empty so from loading Q we need to put here that is DT4 here so DT4 here and the uh, Q will be uh, remaining with 5 and 6 okay now take the same value which uh, you are considered okay as a clock value for the next okay so phi here because it is a small so we consider small so phi here now how many are in the loading queue now they are two so we are written here two now how many are in the loader two so two here now how many are in the weighing queue so, one here that is dt3 so one now how many are in the weight so one here so writing one there okay now just write the name of the trucks in the loading loader queue so they are six and five so five and six here now three is at the way so dt3 now for the future event list just consider the trucks those who are at loader and uh, way just consider them and uh, that is dt1 dt1 that is at the 12 that is weighing okay keep the values which are not considered as the same that is uh, for truck 2 that is 10 and for truck 1 that is 12 um, we are just replacing this dt3 with now the dt4 so we are considering dt4 for a loading for loading time that with the phi okay so phi here plus we are considering the previous minimum value which we are replacing with okay so phi that will be 10 here okay now uh, bl can be calculated using the formula this that is that is phi clock for the current is phi now so considering it as phi minus for the previous clock value is zero so zero um, that is into l of t that is the previous of l of t is two so considering 2 plus previous BL value is 0. So 0 here that is 5 minus 0 is 5 into 2 plus 0 that is 10 plus 0 that is 10. So we are writing the BL value as 10 here and same calculate for the BS using this formula that is clock for the previous is 5 sorry current is 5 previous is 0 that is with previous bs value is 0 so the value is 5 here so we are writing 5 for the bs okay now consider the minimum value from these okay to write the next clock value okay that is 10 there are two values which are minimum you can select any of them i will select the first value just round off that value okay and consider that value as a clock value so considering that value as a clock value so 10 here okay now take the truck that is dt2 just move the dt2 from loading queue to the weighing queue so now here dt1 is here only at the way dt3 is at the weighing queue now dt2 we are moved here from here to here okay now this will be empty now this will be filled with the truck 5 that is dt4 and dt5 here 
and uh, yeah dt6 will remain here okay now for uh, for loading q only one is there truck is there so one here and here there are two trucks so two here now there are two trucks so two here okay and uh, at the last there is only one truck so one here and writing the names which are in the loading queue and writing the name which are in the weighing queue so written 3 and 2 here and uh, 6 here okay now future event list okay now just consider the values which are not considered in the previous so writing them as it is that is l for 4 yeah i am written here 10 with the value and uh, dt1 is also there with the 12 value now which we are replaced that is dt5 with the dt2 so please select that value okay sorry Th you need to consider that truck only that is dt5 so taking dt5 here with the that is loading it is at load now so loading time we need to select here so loading time with the 10 we are taking so 10 here with the previous value which we are consider we need to add that one so 10 plus 10 that will be 20 here okay now the value of bl and bs can be calculated using the formula okay next you need to consider the minimum value from the here that is 10 is minimum okay so make it round then consider it as a clock value so 10 here okay now just move the considered truck from dt that is loading to weighing then it will be here it will be empty dt1 will be here dt3 is here dt2 we are moving dt4 to here so dt5 is here only now we are moving this to here dt6 so this will be empty now here there are two here there are three and here one so writing zero two three and one okay one now there are nothing in the loading queue so no one is there in the loading queue so let it be like this only and uh, for weighing queue just write these where numbers okay that is truck numbers that is three to four okay three to four now again write the values which are not considered here that is 12 and 20 so 12 20 and considering the shifted one that is dt6 as a uh, here with a which is at loading now so we are considering loading time that is 15 so 15 plus previous consider value that is 10 so 15 plus 10 25 okay and bl and bs value can be calculated using the formulas okay just continue this process carefully you will get the result until 76 you need to calculate the values okay this is simple you need to understand it carefully and do the problem okay and uh, i will provide the notes in my blog so please visit my blog thanks for watching Thank you.